Now let's go to our fearless forecast brought to you by Eastern Communications. And uh, we will be featuring the showdown between uh, Jimel Mar- Magramo and J.R. Rakinel, who, uh, who have earned a uh, much-deserved spot in the main event uh, of the fight guard of uh, Johnny Elorde at the Elorde Sports Center in Paranaque City. The fight will be happening on October 23rd, 20. 21. Ryan, tell us more about this. Well, you know, uh, Magramo, you know, he is a, uh, he's a little bit better known fighter. You know, of course, he um, he, he comes from that uh, family lineage of the Magramos. Very tough fighters. Uh, one of them fought Pacquiao, gave Pacquiao a hell of a fight in Cebu uh, a number of years ago. Uh, you know, he's coming off of a, a knockout loss to uh, Junto Nakatani for the uh, WBO flyweight title. So uh, he has a lot to prove. And And uh, this is a step forward, I think, for him uh, to get back into the world title picture because the vacant OPBF flyaway title is at stake. It's um, uh, that's a, a belt that, you know, I mean, Flash Lorde held the OPBF yes. title. It, that's that's a step forward towards uh, getting a, a title shot with the WBC. So uh, it looks like that's the path he's going down. I'm picking him to beat J.R. Rockingale. I think that uh, this will be a... Uh, A, a, a tough fight because I can yell, you know, he has experience. He's a tough fighter too. I think this goes the distance, but Magramo, um, very, you know, it, it seems like he does very well until he gets up to that world championship level. I think that he has uh, a, a number of fights under his belt. that should give him experience to get to a, another level. But um, yeah, I think this is going to be a tough fight for him, but uh, I think he'll, he'll pull it out by decision. Well, That's a fearless a- forecast. Yeah. Well, uh, how much of a factor does uh, does does uh, a former uh, a former uh, title holder in the person of Rakinel uh, have against a uh, Magramo who, who you have said has already improved as far as his fighting style is concerned? Well, I think that uh, Rakinel. The one thing is, you know, he's from Negros Occidental, uh, which is uh, where I think the best fighters in the Philippines come from uh, nowadays. Um, so he's he knows how to box. He's a southpaw, um, and the, and the good thing that he has is that he has fought abroad. He's not just some guy from the province who's taking a big step up against a, a name fighter, a recognized fighter. You know, he he's fought in Dubai, he's fought in Japan, he's won in these places. He's fought in China. That was where his only defeat was. Uh, so he knows how to fight um, in hostile territory against uh, against good fighters. So th- he's not going to come down. You know, he's not going to come here to lay down, but. I just think that um, Magramo has, uh, you know, a very um, well-schooled style. He knows how to win rounds. He's got a good jab. You know, they call him the pistoletto, but he's more of like a technician in my my view. Um, and I, I I really think that um, he has he understands the uh, tradition of being a Magramo. You know, Melvin Magramo, you know, Alvin Magramo, you know, his his brother. You know, there's the whole family. They're they're fighters. These are just tough people, and uh, I, I think that it would, it would take a, a next level t- type of talent to beat Magramo in his home country. Well, you heard it uh, from the expert himself uh, for our fearless forecast, uh, Ryan Sundalia, picking uh, Jimel Magramo over J.R. Rakinel for the OPBF flyweight title that will be happening on October 23rd, 20. 20- 21. And that's our fearless forecast brought to you by Eastern Communications.